Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm at home. I'm making uh, curtains for the Mini Graham's room. She's been wanting curtains for a while. And um, we got some hoopty, some hoopty white trash setup going on in her room. So I'm making her some, some curtains. And because I get to make the curtains, I get to pick the fabric. So I'm picking this like far out space, space fabric for uh, her curtains. Sets it a tone. Mini Graham's a pretty cool kid. So I'm doing the, uh, doing the deal here, man. I, I'm making stuff, right? And um, sewing's a cool thing to be able to do. You know, I'm kind of getting warmed up. I'm doing some basic projects before I start actually making the shirts for me and Owl. And um, so the first kind of thing I did was I made a couple pillowcases for some small baby pillows. And now I'm I'm moving on to this because you got to get the uh, the feel for the foot pedal on the uh, on the sewing machine and kind of get used to the rhythm. It's just like everything else. Practice makes perfect. So I, I'm here doing the deal. Sewing's one of those. It's not that crazy of an assignment, man. You know, you don't need much. And the, uh, the overhead on the equipment's not huge. So I got this, uh, you know, I got a brother sewing machine. You can pick one up at, at Walmart for a couple hundred bucks, man. And it does everything, you know, look at that. It does all the different zigzags and all the stuff you want to do. It's pretty easy to use and you need an iron, some pins, some thread, you know, you get the special fabric pencil so you can make lines on it and a good pair of scissors. So, you know, for 300 bucks, you can get yourself set up. And if you're smart, you can go get one of those credit cards at Walmart where you don't have to, you can pay it off over the course of a year, dude. So you can go and they sell fabric and everything at Walmart, but I don't use Walmart. I go to jo Joanne fabrics and get stuff. So I'm doing the, I'm doing the deal, right? I'm sitting here and I'm making something. I woke up today kind of jammed up feeling a little bit less than because uh, that's part of the condition I suffer is this inadequacy vibe. I don't quite understand it, but it just gangs up on me. And so, you know, this is part of the whole like stay at home dad thing. It's like, you know, Owl's napping right now. And it's a perfect activity to start like sewing some stuff. And the cool thing is like, You know, you can, you can have fun with it. Like the cool thing is you get to like make stuff out of your own like crazy fabric. So I got this, uh, this is like super soft. I'm going to make a, a little, like, cause Al loves dinosaurs, the babas. I'm going to make him a little, another little pillow. And, um, I made him, already made him a pillow using this dinosaur fabric. But it's not quite as soft, but I, I like the, the dinosaur vibe. And I'm also going to make him a matching shirt with that thing, right? So I have all my stuff. And then I made the mini grandma pillow. Because uh, you can't make something for Al and not hand make something for the mini grandma. It's just not cool. So I made her a horse pillow. And, um, and this is the super soft fabric. And she was stoked. And so I'm, I'm trying to get, you know, it's, it's that thing. It's like everything else, you know, there's a, there's a moment where you've got to like, remember how to do all this stuff. Hey, let me go get the pillows real quick. So these are the pillows. So this is the, uh, the pillow I made for owl with the babas. And I just freestyled this super basic design. You know, I, I got it so you can stuff the pillow in there, right? And, uh, you know, hide the seams. And so this was the first thing I actually made with the sewing machine. And I, and I didn't, it was a little, 
it's a little loose but that's cool so on the next one I tighten it up a little bit and um, I made this one for the mini ground because she's all about her horses and it's the same deal you know you just make it so you can you can stuff it in there and the seam you know now if I was really if I was really paying attention the other day which I wasn't because I was getting it out I would have had it so that this lined up like I almost naturally did it so it lined up perfectly in the back which been like you can do stuff you can get all tricked out and I think part of my like I got shoot I was watching this I watched this YouTube video guy the samurai carpenter he does incredible woodworking stuff right and his stuff is so next level beyond any sort of skills I have. And the skill he has is patience, man. And he takes time. I've always, I feel like I'm always rushed lately. I don't get it because I don't really have much going on except taking care of my son. And yet I always feel like I'm like rushing. And I think naturally I'm a little bit lazy, you know? So, and I'm impatient. So I'm trying to, and that's where like this one little detail, like, right, that's that right there, right, is the difference between skill and ability, right? I have the ability to sew and the skills to show, but am I a, a craftsman, you know, like if I had gotten that tightened up, that would have been sort of next level, right? imperfections the secret to perfection i suppose i can live with it and yet that's what's been making me crazy lately is just i want to be better at things i do and yet i have to just be an acceptance of what i can do like i got really jammed up yesterday my rhythm fell apart because i was in the rhythm and i was i went and met my artist buddy and he makes this cool art it's it's its own trippy thing, man. But he, he blew up, dude. He's like big in Japan and he's selling his stuff for like 10 grand, right? 10 grand he's selling a painting for. He does, and it's like doodles and stuff. He does it on a pair of vans that sells it for 1500 bucks a pop. And I was talking to him, to, to him the other day and he's like, you know, I was telling, you know, because we were talking, we got sober together. He's a young guy, man got sober at 17 right when I was getting sober so we're like trudging buddies and I was asking about it and he's like and I was telling him I sell my stuff and I do it and he's like yeah but is are you is it like is, is that are you like making it like and I go no but I, I get stoked on selling it and then I just got all jammed up yesterday because I was like and this is not me looking the gift horse in the mouth. This is just me talking like honestly with you. So I was, I got a cup, I made an art video the other day and I sold like, I sold a couple pieces, man. This so one dude buys a bunch of art and then, but I sold these other two small pieces, the little $25 pieces. Like it's cool, man. I get it. And then, but they, they ordered each one of those people actually ordered a frame to go with their piece of art. And so I'm up there at the shop making my thing and I'm, doing my deal and I was like it dawned on me like the whole thing the two pieces of art and the two custom frames I'm making was like a hundred bucks like I made a hundred bucks and then I gotta I you know I gotta ship it too so you know I probably made like I'm not I'm stoked these dudes want my art like I'm fully complimented and blessed by it but yet I was fully like well, I'm never going to get ahead on this kind of level because, right, my ego and the whole thing wants to tell me I'm lack. And so I got super, like, bummed out yesterday. And then my paycheck didn't show up from work because, like, they're super, like, whatever about it. Like, and it got me super bummed about the whole thing because, like, that's it. Like, I'm... It's so hard to, like, practice what you preach you know what I mean like so I dusted myself off and I'm making my curtains I guess is what I'm getting at and I gotta realize that 
everything's perfect. I just got to realize that. And, and I have to apply my faith and trust in God. And I have to allow God to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Because if I don't go into action, I'm not going to get anything done. And I think that's where I was today. I fully like was all like, Moo. and I was like, just start making stuff, man. Go make the curtains, right? Because it's not a complicated task, right? And I think sometimes like, Part of the problem is like we make ourselves too complicated to get the ball rolling. That's why I'm making something simple. It's just squares, you know, it's just because if I get to make something too involved, like the shirts right off the bat, it's like I could fully mess it up. And then I'm like falling apart when I did. I can't mess up these curtains. I couldn't mess up those pillowcases because I'm I got to create something. I got to get the juices flowing and. I allowed myself to hit the wall yesterday and not be able to make stuff. Though, see, that's the thing. I've been, I can go down to the shop and make frames when people order the frames, but my ability to freestyle all of a sudden has been super jammed up. I've been, I haven't been able to freestyle like lately. And it's kind of, kind of freaked me out yesterday because I made my two little frames for these, my clients who ordered them. And then I just was like, what do I do now? And I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I was just like, stuck. I got super stuck and it freaked me out. And I, then I started thinking about my bro selling $10,000 pieces of art, bro. And I'm like, what? And then I go, well, maybe I'm, you know, whatever. So I'm here making trippy curtains for my kid, right? Like those are rad, dude. I get fired up on them, dude. And that's the cool thing, man. Like so this is the illusion just checking in on a uh sunday afternoon it's rainy for those who like the weather it's rainy here in southern california all right it's the illusion i'm out